Now, this farmer produces the most amazing potatoes. In fact, he's actually known as the mad potato scientist. Also, he's known for producing the most amazing beer. So I can't wait to meet this guy. And Haresh is going to introduce me to him. Absolutely. There he actually is. Manuel. Manuel. Ven a conocer a Gordon. Hola, Gordon. Adelante. Good to see you, man. <laughs> The mad potato scientist. <laughs> How are you? Hola. Everything's going on about these amazing potatoes. What's so special about them? Te muestro. Wow. Oh, there it is. It's a pulpa azul. Stop it. Blue. Have you been drinking? Has it been No. no. <laughs> Let's cook it and see if it's blue. Oh, I'm going to see that. Vamos. Vamos. There you go. Vamos. Vamos. <laughs> With his mad science skills, Manuel cross-pollinates high-altitude potato strains once used by the Incas. And for lunch, his proud parents have prepared some of the results. Gordon, te voy a mostrar las papas que nosotros hemos desarrollado. Oh boy, man, that is amazing. Y este es otra más increíble. Look at that. Oh my God, it's like a beetroot. It does not look like a potato. You are a crazy scientist. <laughs> oh boy. You can just see that starch coming out there. So how did you cook them? Están al horno. They're baked in an oven, baked roasted. In oven. I'm dying to taste these. Please <laughs> do. Wow. What about you, sir? Even the skin's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing, it's almost meaty. Man. Todas estas papas nativas se desarrollan a partir de los 3,800 a 4,200. Wow. Cuanto más alto está la altitud, es más pigmentado la papa. Apparently, these stunning pigments protect the potatoes from the intense ultraviolet light here at altitude. What a gift from the mountain gods. Esta te va a sorprender más. This one's going to surprise you even more. That's incredible. How the hell do you peel something like that? <laughs> I mean, literally. Esta papa en realidad tiene cultura y tradición que nosotros, mi mamá te va a contar. Veracocha. Uh, que papa en sutin cachun wakachi, y cachun wakachi me suiri, que tenían carwawa y van tía y te monan que que papá te la pilar y que papá te pila y necesita probar a coan. And no wonder he's still single at the age of thirty. He's got no freaking chance. Who's going to peel that? Business complete. It's time for some booze. They are made out of corn. Chicha de jura, natural. Gracias. This is unique to the Andean highlands. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué le pareció? It tastes like a strawberry champagne. Like... De fresas. <laughs> you can give the French a kick of the ass. And the sweetness from those wild strawberries is delicious. Sí. Muchas gracias. <laughs> gracias. Mama, papa, gracias. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. Bravo. Excellent. This is very dangerous for me. High altitude, alcohol, and something that's incredibly moorish. Yes, thank you. This is the kind of discovery that sends me straight back to my kitchen because I've just tasted the most amazing potatoes. I mean, extraordinary. The different colors, the different flavor. The diversity is mind blowing. Salud. 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 And then the chicha. I mean, that will wipe the smile off any, any Frenchman's uh, vineyard, let me tell you. Sod their <laughs> pink champagne from now on in. <laughs> Toast. <laughs> Thank you. This local olive oil tastes amazing. So I'm keen to discover how the Berbers make it. Bonjour. They've been making olive oil in this region since before Roman times and I'm dying to get my hands on some to use in my New Year feast. Oh, man. And these have just been picked, right? Yes. OK. OK, let's try. The first thing I've got to do <laughs> is crush down the olives using the ancient grinder. But it's bloody hard work. Allah! Hello. What? No, we the mule. The mule? The mule. Yes. OK. <laughs> there? This one? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's perfect. Okay. Now, come on, you stubborn mule, please. He's allowed to go to the toilet. Just as I think I've mastered the medieval olive press, the mule gets a bout of stage fright. Come on, please. I'm getting beaten by a mule here. <laughs> Slow it down. Slow him down. It's hard to deal with. No, it's a good choice. After crushing them down, I've now got to bag them up before we press the oil out. 
Scoop it in. Yeah. What an amazing process. The smell is incredible, right? It smells nice, huh? Isn't it? I mean, talk about fresh pressed. Unfortunately, the mule can't do this. Oh, look. Look at that. Can you see that? Yeah, it's definitely coming out. You can see it. Let's do it. Let's do Fantastic. Should be bread in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. That is beautiful. Now, I've heard of extra virgin, but this is going to be extra, extra virgin. Look at that shine. I've never tasted olive oil straight from the press. That is amazing. And it's another lesson I can take into my Bourbon New Year feast to produce something really special for these hospitable people. Thank you. Oh, la, la. I want to give back. I want to show them what I can do and try to make this day a day to remember. I'm going to meet a local farmer who's an expert in Hawaii's most famous native dish, poi. Wade, good morning. Oh, what's up, bud? The king of poi. Good to see you, bud. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, good to see you. Absolute yeah. pleasure. Now we're blood brothers. <laughs> now we're what? We're mud brothers. Mud brothers. <laughs> Thank you. How long every day do you spend in that mud bath? Three, four hours a day. And these... <laughs> yeah, enough question here. Get your ass in there. Oh, come on. <laughs> Poi is made from taro plants, which were first brought to these islands by the Polynesians around a thousand years ago. It's slidy. <laughs> it's like a mud bath. The mud is pretty tough to deal with, much like Wade's laugh. Oh, come on. <laughs> but he's going to be showing me taro picking, which requires a special skill. You know karate? Yes. Oh, side kick. Side kick him. Yeah. There. So you put your foot down first. Yeah, and then you heel. Heel toe. Yeah, and you, and you push him under, eh? Why are you doing that? Because otherwise it will break inside. Good. Then you got only half the tarot. Got then you got to dig with your hand. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> so you're using the base of your heel to snap the roots. Right. Come on, bud. Let's go. I know, I know. I'm trying it's to get the. Can't be that hard, bro. I'm trying to get the mother one here. <laughs> Step up. Hey, bloodies. Push them. Put your toe open. So you put it between put your, your toes. Toe and just step them. Knock them over. Push them. There you go, bro. You want to make a farm out of you yet, bro? And pull up with the roots, right? Yeah, and you always wash them, rinse them, rinse them. That's correct. Clean them good now. Look at the colour of my toes, man. What have you done to me? You know the people, they pay big money for mud bats. You get in free, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. That's plenty. What a technique, though. That's amazing.